as you know, I'm Litty Mummy. Litty Mummy, she's inside. As you can tell by the subtitle and the thumbnail. Yes, come on, girl. <laughs> what we be doing today? But before I tell you what we be doing today, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, and hit that belly belly thing down below. You hear me? All right, let's get it on. Well, today, 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 we're gonna make him pom poms, pom poms, and we're gonna go in stages. Yeah, right. Hey, first of all, um, to make the pom poms in the beginning, of course, you're gonna need the wool, of course. But this is a part of the resource. Then you're going to need two toilet rolls. You're going to need them. You must be thinking, wow. Shirley's using her resources again, little mummy, I should say. Then you're going to need some scissors and a fail tip pen. You're going to need a circle to draw your templates around, which you're going to need also. So, and cardboard for the templates. But, least of all, you have to put the hole in the middle. And as we're going along, guys, friends, fellows, all that, homies, I'm going to be telling you exactly how I'm going to be making my pom-poms. I've got some down here also, which I've been making. So, because I'm making a rug, you see, but first of all, we need to collate all the um, resources together and get so much wool in and pom-poms in. Well, first of all, to make the pom-poms, as I said, you need the the two toilet rolls then if you've got a piece of cardboard you just have to cut around the template to make a circle and when you've made the circle then you're going to put a hole in the middle and as we're going along I'm going to be telling you but let's get it on now um well in the instance you hold the cardboard like this you put your two fingers inside to hold it together so that they don't come apart when you're winding the wool around the toilet roll. You can either wind it around 60 times if you wish. It depends on how big you want the pom-pom to be. But if you want it a bit larger, then you have to go about another 20 or 30 more winds around the toilet roll. Right now, I'm doing about 10 now i've done 10 so far you can either count it in your head or you could count it aloud it's entirely up to you i'm not saying i'm an expert or anything so i've done about seven to eight by now <laughs> with interruptions in between but as you get along you know and, and then you become perfect then you can just count automatically so far it's about 35 now you know and um i'm just giving you a quick outlay of how it can be done and also when you're doing it, you can do it as fast as you like because it's down to the individual if they want a big pom-pom or not. Well, I've done about 60, 70 so far now, so I'm going to stop now. And when you stop, you have to leave out a bit of the um, wool. So you're not um, cutting yourself short. And also make sure that all the wool is on the toilet roll correctly in the center. I'm going to cut off a piece now but always make sure that you leave off enough because you remember you can't cut it too low down to the toilet I mean I mean down to the um, toilet roll so give it about a few inches up and when you've done that now we are going to use about 12 inches to a foot long of wool and then you're going to see exactly what I'm going to do with it now that part is done now we are going to the same place where we've cut. We are going to be putting the wool over it. And as you can see exactly what I'm doing, I am putting it down. One moment, one moment. It's a bit tricky this one, but it'd be done. You have to, to put it down the incision of the toilet roll. And then you pull it. And then where you see, I'm going over it, but I'm not putting it into a knot because it's one overlap, then two. So I'm not exactly putting it into a knot like that. Then you have to pull it really tight. 
then you take your time then you have to pull out one toilet roll first then the other when you pull the toilet roll out you need to hold it steadily and give it a good old pull you pull it really really tight and when you pull it tight that's when you put the knot into it when you knot it you pull it extremely extremely tight don't forget that you've still got these two strings hanging out but you do not cut them strings off at all then you're going to push your finger through the first bit of the hole of the wool because remember when you cut it when you had the incision you had to um put your finger through it you had to um you had two toilet rolls then when you put the wool around it now you've got the two incisions there still so now what i'm going to do if you can see clearly i've still got my two strings here you just push your finger through the first hole then you just have to cut it remember that you're not cutting your finger you're cutting the wool inside to make the pom-pom okay now this is how it looks now i haven't finished so i'm going to the other side where i had the other um part of the um the pom-pom okay now i am just repeating the process which i just done previously but on the other side okay and when you've done that now let's get it all correct you can just give them a shake give it a shake a good little shake okay the next stage well it's nothing much now but is forming into a pom-pom the next stage of the pom-pom is where you're going to take your hands and flatten it out so it is flat if you remember when i started i said that we needed two circles the reason why we needed two circles was we can then thread the, the string's a bit long but that's fine we can thread the string in the incision which we've made in the circle this was the reason why you can see it there okay and then the other the other cardboard which i also cut out in the template it goes on top of the other side of the pom-pom so you got one side cardboard and the other but on this side you got the um the hole through the incision of the cardboard so it's holding it in in position it's a bit like a sandwich or a burger you could say okay now here comes the messy part of the activity you have to hold it tightly together and trim trim the edges off trim the edges off all the way around until it forms into the shape of of how you want it just remember the template is only your guideline because even though i use the circle here it depends on how big you want the pom-pom if you want it any bigger you've got to find another resource with a bigger size circle okay it's getting there slowly but surely it takes a bit of time the reason why i'm doing it this way because um it's a lot easier you can use anything if you want to use it a triangle you can make your own circle half a circle out of, of a cardboard and just and just wind it around it's entirely up to you as you can see it's forming now really and truly i just have to give it a bit more trimming down to see exactly where i'm going with it and um when you take it off now it'd be nice and flat you're thinking what is that but look it's forming into the pom-pom it makes a lot of mess mind you and also you can even trim around the edges when you take it off yourself 
So you can make it either small or big. It's, in, it's entirely down to the individual how they want their pom-poms to be made. And also, you can, even make, you can either mix two colours together if you really wanted it to be flamboyant, in a sense. It's down to the individual. I know that I've made it small because I was just showing you. But the previous ones, which I've made already, they're quite big. Because as I said, I'm making a rug out of it. So you just have to shake it out, really. And, um, and voila, it's all here. The pom-pom's here. So, so my rug's going to be very, very colourful. It's, it's only a small one, but as I get on, you know, in doing the pom-poms, they're going to be quite large. Because when it's large, it looks much better. You know, so you just need a bit of a trim up. But guys, that's my pom-pom making um, for today. But don't forget to like, share, to like, comment, and tell a friend to tell a friend. And keep on watching Litty Mummy. Because I will come back on at some stage to show you my rug when I have completed it. But as I said, so far, so good. I've made quite a few pom-poms here. And I'm quite pleased with them. You know, so given time i'm going to be um contrasting two colors together to make a much bigger rug but guys keep on watching love you guys to the max don't forget to like share subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend and word up to me little mommy is back peace out